Hey guys, sorry, I had a slight um, interruption. But the next bag that I wanted to show you guys is um, this nice, it's a navy blue in the back. And this flap is like gray and white. Nice is for you want to do color blocking. And um, this is also a leather bag. Um, it just has one spot on there that I'm going to try to clean off, but you can't even see it. And um, I'll go ahead and open it up for you. That's how it looks when you open it up. It has um, a few uh, sections. It also has a strap. Um, a nice long strap, which I probably won't even use. I liked how it looked with this uh, on the inside, but um, yeah, so this little leather bag was only two dollars. Two dollars. Can you believe that? This leather bag, two dollars at Goodwill. And it has like unique stitching on it. I don't know if you can see that. When I do the, um, the video with just the pictures, then you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So yeah, this bag was two dollars. And I was looking for my receipt. I think I only spent like um, $31 at Goodwood today. Um, the next bag, okay, let me tell you about this next bag. I was going to get this bag the first time I saw it. Then I was like, well, no, because it's missing the strap and it's, it's leather, but it's warm. But I was like, man, you can take that bag in and like um, get it fixed nice, you know, because they can do some things with leather these days to get it looking back nice. And um, then, uh, Every time I've gone back in there, this bag has been there. And the first time I saw it, I think it was $10. Let me see. I think it was $10. And then every time after that, I went in there, the price was lower and lower. But the, the bag was $10. Today it was $4.97. Gosh, I wish I could find the receipt. And then um, this one lady was like, well, tell them that it's missing the strap, and you can get you know, a, a more of a discount. So for not having the strap, they took off a dollar. Okay. So I'm gonna show you the bag. It's a little brown leather, all leather, all leather bag. I thought this little bag was so cute. It has a few, you know, little things here and there, but nothing that can't be fixed. This is the area where the straps are supposed to be. It doesn't have one, but we ain't gonna worry about that for right now. Okay. So this is what the bag looks like. It has a unique shape. I don't know if you noticed that. A very unique shape. I'm going to show you what the inside looks like. And this is how it opens up. The inside is suede. This is a, such a nice bag. Such a nice bag. And um, it's by E Collection. So I said I'd do a little homework on, on that. But this bag is just... This, this bag has so much um, taste to it. I mean, just nice bag. Nice leather, nice, nice leather. So this bag would definitely get some, definitely get some use by me. Okay. So that's the last of my bags. So it was one, two, three, four bags. Yeah. And then I got this cute jumper. It's one piece. Um, and it still has the new. The new, um, it still has all the tags. The original price, it says, um, Soho, $44. And it's one piece. It's a little big, but it's very cute. It has snaps on the shoulder. This is how, this is the shoulder, just so y'all can see. Ah, I can't get it. So it snaps closed on the shoulders. But the top of it is pink. It's like a hot pink, which you probably can't see. And then, I'm going to show you the bottom of it. The bottom of it is it's like a black, like a black denim look to it. This is just shorts. And then I'll show you the back pocket. It's just one piece now. It has a little piece sign on the back. And I guess this could be purchased at JCPenney because it has the JCPenney tag on. I can't believe this is $44 and originally, but it is cute. And I don't know. I can't even pronounce the name of it. But I am going to put this together to where to um, we're going in Mardi Gras next weekend with some maybe some black sandals and some nice silver jewelry and some pink and black eyeshadow. Ooh, my Miss Nikki's will look good with this. But um, yeah, I paid eleven dollars for this. It was like ten, 
Damn, did Lynch take off all the things on this this time? She did. It was like I think it was like ten fifty seven. But uh it's really cute. So it's so cute on. It's so cute on. So I'm gonna try to give you all pictures of this stuff. The next thing I got was this Donna Karen. No, this is not Donna Karen. This is Calvin Klein. Nope, not even Calvin Klein. Why did I get it together? It's a Converse shirt. Also, Chuck Taylor. Um, and this shirt fits very nice as well. Um, I'm going to be wearing this with some jeans and just like some tennis shoes. But what I like about this shirt is that I don't know if you can see this. Underneath the arm area, it's like um, cotton ribbed. And down the side is cotton ribbed. It has like a boyfriend appeal to it, I guess. I, I, I really like the way this shirt fit. Very nice fit. So, yeah, this, this is what this looks like. And this shirt, which she took the price tag off of too, um... Do I have that price tag in my pocket? Or did I? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even know. Nope, that's not the good one. see. Is this a good one to see? Nope, it's CBS. I think this shirt was like eight eight dollars. This Converse shirt was like eight dollars. So I got this Converse shirt, that jumper, and my four bags for I think it was like thirty dollars which isn't bad because I love all my bags I'm gonna tell you that right now I love them all and my sister went back and got this shirt I told her to put this shirt hang this shirt up and she ended up getting it for me because it fit nice as well and this is by INC it's a black and white pinstripe shirt and it has um it has ruffles that go down the front of the shirt like this is all ruffles and then the ends of the sleeves have the same ruffling detail and this shirt was was cute it fit real nice and um she snuck and got that for me when i told her to put it back and this shirt was seven dollars so okay so i was supposed to be done okay i picked her up and took her we went to goodwill together and I got my stuff and she bought this shirt for me and I said, you know what, she shouldn't find any jeans in Goodwill. So I was like, I'm going to take you by the thrift store um, that I went to yesterday because I got, you know, the saffron jeans and the other jeans. And I've gotten other jeans out of there before too. So my plan was to be done shopping when I went to, um, when I took her to the thrift store. It was just to show her the store and, you know, help her pick out some jeans. Well, lo and behold, I found a nice jacket. But I could not pass this jacket up. This jacket was only three dollars and ninety-five cents. It is an American Eagle blazer. Three dollars. I don't even know if you can see that. Dollars and ninety-five cents. This is the front of the blazer. I mean, second to none, girl. This is the one that I sent you the picture. Check this blazer out. I can't even see the camera. It has uh, all this little stuff on it. Okay. And then on the sleeves, it has the American Eagle, American Eagle. Um, it has the nice brown suede patches on the elbow, nice buttons. It's like a corduroy blazer. Um, nothing on this sleeve, but it does have the corduroy um, on the elbow as well. So, yeah, y'all. $3.00 and 95 friggin cents. I know I said well, I'm gonna get enough like that thrift store, but honey, would you have passed this up? I don't think so. So yeah, that was my thrift store shopping this weekend. I think I made out pretty damn good. I'm very happy oh, and I just love my bags. Love my bags. So with that being said, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and take some still photos and uh, get those all uploaded for you thank you so much for watching um uh, i plan to be doing some um different hairstyles with my hair while i'm not um, bothering the roots because um 
I don't know, I kind of I kind of like this fullness a little bit. You know, I have my moments where it's like, oh, I should twist my hair. And then it's like, nah, it looks good. Leave it alone. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing some things, some different styles um, with my hair with the with the root like this. Because I think it's going to be like this for a while. At least maybe my anniversary, um, I'll do, uh, I'll do a retwist. We'll see how it goes. But for right now, I am taking a break from it. So... Yeah, that's it. I'm turning into a thrift store junkie. I cannot help it, but I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and do those stills and get them uploaded for you. Be best, family. See you in the next video.